Hey, welcome back guys. New video. Uh, I'll get you updated on what I've been up to and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've been the last couple of days playing around with wiring. And yes, I do have the uh, washer bottles in and uh, putting that in maybe found out what another plug does so that's good uh, so what I've been doing is doing you know trying to tidy up the wiring for final when it when it all goes back together not having to run wires all that kind of stuff so there's no wires running over the motor anything like that so we're good on that uh, they go from the uh, main plug there, hidden under the washer bottle. Still haven't quite worked out what I want to do with the little uh, fuse box and the relays, how that's going to work out. But it all runs long, follows the uh, natural wiring around and to where it needs to go. I've also done a bit of tidy up in the car. So that's no longer just sitting on the passenger floor here because I had uh, I had earths going up over the dash, a couple of wires that joined together over the dash. So they now are moved across to the driver's side, plugged up under the dash where they need to be. Uh, earths, they still need to uh, wire in that uh, speed box, find a place for that body control simulator and the uh, data plug but that'll all be uh, under the driver's footwell uh, I'll put that check light in the uh, console somewhere uh, did do a test fire to make sure it still works it does but uh, now that I've got some uh, accessorize on the front of the engine with no Power steering lines, it did power steering, whatever was in the pump, sprayed it out. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, so now it's time to start looking at this. What am I going to do here? The first things I need to do are get rid of those uh, old airbox mounts because uh, the battery just doesn't sit right with them there. So... We'll go from that. Uh, I have been chatting to a fella uh, about battery boxes. I do like what he's done. He's uh, recessed his in here and I want to do something the same. So we've had a little bit of a chat on that and uh, we'll go from that. But first I need to get those uh, mounts out and see exactly what I'm working with. So that's the next thing to do. The first cut has been made. Put the welding blanket on the engine, we don't want anything happening with that. But if you look there, good thing that came off because it's starting to rust. As well as under there, so moisture is obviously getting under there and uh, that's not good, but it's off. The battery does sit a little lower, but that bolt is a hindrance and does need to be cut there. But I don't yet have the ball to do that, so I want to have time to think about it. Uh, we'll probably get off The other mounts if I can get to them without uh, damaging the wiring and uh, then we'll look at that but I'm pretty sure it has to have some sort of cut here what I'm thinking to start is if I just cut you know a right angle in there and then the loose piece of steel say like that bit just gonna hammer it down flat test the battery and see how it goes and then uh, I'll make a piece 
to refill that section there, weld it up, as good as gold. Whether it works or not, that is another question. But I think so far, in my head, what I'm thinking is cut, cut, hammer down, test fit the battery, see how it goes. Uh, the plan is once that's done is either use that battery tray or cut the one out of that because while I was trying to you know, just break that free from the last remaining bits of the welds, that steel there is pretty flimsy and I don't think it will hold a battery too well over a long period of time. So there will be something going over the top of that to give it some strength. But I'm going to go away and think about it and you will see that in an instant, I'm guessing. Okay, so there's a bit going on. Uh, all those old mounts are out and all have small amounts of rust underneath. No big deal, that can be cleaned up. I cut the battery tray out of the Statesman. So there is a hole there. I've just been uh, trimming up that, making it a bit smaller in an attempt to uh, get it to fit in here. But I think the time has come where I have to cut here. Now the further I go into here, the better clearance I get from the headlight. Uh, yeah, I think I'm scared to do it, but I don't really have an option now because whichever way this goes, or is end up going to go, say something like that. So I want that end there to be around flush with the edge of the rail. So it's going to have to go something like that. And I don't want it to be under that corner there, so and I have to get it up pretty high in order to clear that. So I don't want to be uh, shuffling around, cutting up that, shutting that or whatever. So I want this to be right, so... I need to work out how far this way and how deep I need to cut and I'll mark it, cut it and pray that it turns out all right. All right, I have been playing around with the battery tray, folding up edges, making the battery uh, want to fit in there a little better with the uh, mounting point don't have much room on this side I've done a line there there'll be a little bit of a lip to uh, hold the battery but I think the time has come to start cutting here but before I've done that I've jacked up the suspension just to make sure I have enough room for the wheel when it uh, is all said and done now they are 17 inch wheels which are not going to be run on the car we run 15s and this is the area here that we'll be uh, cutting into so there's plenty of room uh, there's plenty of room here to here that's going to be in that section there so the wheels not going to touch that if it turns it will encroach on that area but uh, should not affect it because we still have quite a big gap here so the, the uh, wheels i'm going to run on the car are a lot smaller so there should be plenty more room so i've marked out two spaces that i'm thinking of cutting but i think i'll start with the smaller one and see how that goes because if I cut too big then uh, 
it's harder to put in. But if I cut it smaller, it should be hopefully easier. So let's get cutting, eh? Okay, ignore that uh, last piece of footage. The uh, cut is a lot more forward than uh, I was expecting for some reason, but still should clear the wheel quite easily. I should probably jack it up and try it again, eh? For some reason, I'm thinking it's down there. And that is over here. Anyway, I'll jack the wheel up and see how it is. Nah, we're good. Plenty room. Plenty of room. Wheels jacked back up. More room than in a seven person bungalow. Let's massage the area. And that is kind of what the end goal wants to be like. Sitting a little high here because of that bolt. We may have to put a smaller head on there and get that dint underneath out. But that it's kind of the result I'm after. Guard will obviously come up here somewhere. No fouling on the leads. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I now have the battery tray under the battery and it has its little uh, hold down halfway screwed in. So this is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, we move that out of the way. Tray, level with the rail, battery just sitting inside. Enough room in here. We want to get the, uh, the dust cap off the back of the light. Enough room to play in here. And obviously enough room there. But that all relies on the size of the battery that you're running. So I pretty much can't go bigger than that. But uh, at this stage, I'm okay with that. Uh, still got a bit more modification to go on. The tray, I can undo this bolt, which I can't, so I'll just lift the battery out. And put that down there. So what I've got here is the battery tray sitting in like that. I have to find a way to mount that that way. And I will make out of steel a piece to cover up that so that's nice uh, for some reason this piece is in two and i've been trimming away at the bottom if i trim too much here that's probably going to fall off because i think it's welded through there so i don't want to go too low on that uh that edge there i've tried to get it sit pretty flat now the only level I have is this big one so it still needs a bit more taken off the back here to get it to sit flat so 
So this side will come down a bit. But that's uh, all modification that needs to be done. Obviously it needs to be cleaned up because it's rusty, which is pretty much surface rust, so we can get that off. But if we can get the fitment and everything right, then uh, we're halfway there, aren't we? So it's a little bit more trimming on the back side of this and get it to sit relatively flat. I do want to flatten that out. Uh, I can keep that bolt in there because that's sitting underneath that lip on there at this stage so I don't need to do anything with that so I'll keep keeping on and uh, update you with any progress getting closer to the final position of where everything's going to uh, fit I uh, still need to do a bit of work to the battery tray but decided that I'll, I'll uh, get some wiring in there and see how that looks I've got the relays all hidden down there. The rest of the wiring goes under the washer bottle overflow and then uh, down to the plugs there. Hopefully those relays can just have a bolt in there. I will test fit the guard to make sure that doesn't fail on anything and there's enough clearance. Uh, the fuse box here. That's not its final resting place, but it will be in there somewhere. I will tidy up this spaghetti because it looks like a damn mess. And that's pretty much it. Uh, getting closer to pulling everything back out. Um, I'm just about to rip that battery tray back out and make sure I'm happy with that final fitment before we go any further. But... Just want to lower this side a bit so it's a shave it a bit more underneath and uh, see how we go. Just playing around with guards. Um, I'm test fitting the unpainted one because I don't want to scratch the painted one. Just testing to see how much uh, clearance is under there and there's quite a bit actually. So just pretend this is the other side. Like those relays are going to be mounted up along there. So there's heaps of room there. And then you've got this plastic guard liner, which goes there and goes nowhere near them. So as long as I don't get them wet, which we don't plan to drive in too much bad rain and that kind of stuff. So they should be protected from the weather and... Uh, hidden and out of sight back down there so I think that's uh, where they're gonna lay um, yeah let's chop this up a bit more just taken a slither of the uh, battery tray off underneath and that is pretty damn close to final uh, fitment uh, not going to take any more off that side just couple mil added to that side when we uh, rejig the bottom of the battery tray to mount it into the car that'll get it level and if you come down and have a look at this battery terminal is just poking up above the level here which is plenty 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 of room to spare okay everything back out uh, just trying to flatten that uh, piece there from when I hammered it down and uh, put a big curve in it so having a look at this uh, this flat piece on the bottom is going to have to be trimmed up probably two three mil taken off each edge so when I make the piece that's going to go in it'll all flat uh, fit in nicely and be uh, lovely but uh, I won't get onto that until I've got everything out all right, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Uh, that's about all I can do. Everything's got to come out now, so I'm pretty much up to that stage. So 
shouldn't be too hard this time. It's just undo the trans mount, uh, slide the engine bolts out, disconnect a bit of the wiring again, should come out. Uh, whether that's the next video or not, we'll wait and see. This weekend is Bathurst, so there won't be much action happening in here. It'll all be happening at Bathurst. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.